Greetings, everyone. Uh, I wanted to take just a few moments to do a quick tutorial on something that is a fantastic tool within uh, Google Docs, something that my students, I showed them today, and a lot of them were like, oh my goodness, Mr. It actually does this. So I wanted to make this tutorial just so that everybody knows how to use this tool. Uh, what I said in class today was that I'm not to brag, but I'm very good at typing. I've had a lot of experience, but some of my students have not had nearly as much experience typing as I have. So they're trying to type things out using two fingers. Um, unless we are assessing typing, which I'm not, uh, but I wanna see my, my students writing. I wanna know like what their thoughts are. A tool that is right within Google Docs, if I click on tools, I can go down voice typing. Uh, so when you click on voice typing, there is a little microphone that pops up. When you click on that, I have now selected voice typing. Everything that I say, comma, will now show up in my document, period. I do have to make sure that I check my spelling comma, and that I actually say the words for each punctuation mark that I want to use, period. If I want a question mark, I have to actually say question space mark, period. As I go through, I'm noticing that some of the words are underlined in gray, comma, some are underlined in blue, period. I deselected the speech to text tool because now I want to go in and actually look at what I quote unquote wrote. Uh, I noticed that typing everything is underlined in blue, which tells me that there's a grammatical error. So it can I can go by the suggestion, or if that's what I wanted to actually say, I can ignore that. Uh, I can look through, I'm like, oh, I don't want to say, if you want a, questions, and I don't want it to say questions park, but I wanna put this in quotes because that's something that I actually want to say. In order to have punctuation marks, you actually have to say the name of the punctuation mark that you want. But I can still go back. Uh, I have a good start on my paragraph here, but then I can go back and edit and make sure that everything is spelled correctly. Um, I have if I'm using names to make sure that those are capitalized and make sure that everything is how I actually want to say it. So this is a great tool um, and it's something that is built right into Google Docs. So good luck and I look forward to uh, reading what you say, put it that way. <laughs>